Here's another example of how to solve what we call a rational inequality. Rational means that the, that the inequality is written up as a fraction. And of course, the first thing you always want to do, that if you have something like this, that the number on the right side is equal to zero, or any expression on the right side. It could be, let's say, x plus 2 divided by x minus 3 greater than or equal to x minus 1. You cannot have x minus 1 on that side. You have to move everything over to one side, so you end up with a zero on the right side. And later on, I will show an example of how to deal with that. But first, this example. So the first thing you want to do is find the critical points, the points that delineate the regions that separate the solutions from one another. And the first thing you do is look at the denominator and realize that the denominator can never be equal to 0. In other words, x minus 3 cannot equal 0, because if it is, you get a zero denominator, and when you divide by zero, you get an undefined solution. So if x cannot equal zero, when I move the three across, that means x cannot equal a positive three. Remember, when you go across the equal sign, or the equal sign with a line through it, the sign changes. So x cannot equal three, well, that becomes a critical point. To find the second critical point, you're going to write the equivalent equation of this which means you're going to take the inequality sign and change it to an equal sign. So you end up with x plus 2 divided by x minus 3 is equal to 0. We do that to find the other critical point. So if a fraction is equal to 0, that means the numerator must equal 0. It doesn't matter what the denominator is. If a fraction equals 0, that means the numerator must equal 0, which means that x plus 2 must equal 0 which implies that x equals negative 2 when we bring the 2 across. That is then the other critical point. So that's how you find the two critical points. You then draw a number line, mark a few of the points, and then place on that the critical points that you found. x cannot equal 3, so here is one of the critical points. You draw a hollow circle because 3 cannot be part of the solution x equals negative 2. Well, since there's an equal sign along with the greater than sign, the number x equals negative 2 is part of the solution. So we find the number negative 2 and draw a solid circle. It delineates regions, but you know that whatever the region is that satisfies inequality, it includes the number negative 2. So now we realize we have three regions. Region 1, region 2, and region 3. And region 3 is to the right of negative 3, so let me mark down the number 4 to indicate that number 4 is in that region 3. And now we're going to take a point from each of the three regions, plug it into the inequality sign to see if it satisfies the inequality. If it does, that region then is part of the solution. So for region number 1, let x equal, let's pick negative 3. Plug that in here, we get negative 3 plus 2 divided by negative 3 minus 3, is that greater or equal to zero question mark? Well, remember that the numerator is positive and the denominator is negative. Oh, yes, oh, negative three plus two. That is a negative number. Thank you for correcting me. Negative number, wow, that would have made quite a difference. So. Negative divided by negative, that has to be a positive number. And is a positive number greater or equal to 0? The answer is yes, which means that negative 3 is in a region that satisfies inequality. And let's mark that as such to indicate so. All right. We found part of the solution. Two more regions to check. So for region number 2, we're going to let x equal some number between negative 2 and 3. And of course, if you can pick the number 0, that's always easy. Let x equal 0. Plug that in. So we get 0 plus 2 divided by 0 minus 3. Is that greater or equal to 0? Question mark. The numerator is positive. The denominator is negative. And a positive number divided by a negative number is a negative number. And a negative number cannot be greater than zero. So that means that this region does not belong to the solution. We can ignore that. Cross it out. One more region to check. For region number three, we're going to let x equal a number in that region. So let's take the number four, plug that into our inequality. So we have four plus two divided by 
4 minus 3 is that greater or equal to 0 question mark so we have 6 divided by 1 is that greater or equal to 0 question mark and the answer is yes so you can either work it out and check or you can simply say that the numerator is a positive number and the denominator is a positive number and a positive number divided by a positive number is a positive number and that is always bigger than 0 so the answer is yes and so this is part of the solution we indicate that by making a solid line here and drawing a little arrow that means all the numbers to the right of 3 not including 3 and all the numbers to the left of negative 2 including negative 2 is part of the solution